Do you guys have Pokemon bulk laying around your room, just sitting there? Do you guys know about sending your bulk in for trading credit slash product or even money? So today's video, I'm going to give you 10 cards on this list for Sword and Shield base that you should not send in as bulk. Let's get it. What is going on guys? Jim here with a video today and guys, this is going to be the return of the top 10 videos. Yes, I haven't done top 10 videos since last year. I've been getting a lot of stuff together and I think the first video to make a comeback with these lists is a video about bulk. Today's video, we're going to talk about the top 10 cards you should not bulk from the Sword and Shield era, but this is going to be Sword and Shield Set Edition. So pretty much uh, next week will be Rebel Clash, the week after will be uh, Darkness of Blaze and so on. So this set right here, from what I've seen so far, has a massive list of cards that you should not bulk. And bulk's definition is pretty much when you send your cards in to get product, usually you uh, send all your cards in as a bunch. You can send your commons, uncommons, rares, hollows. When you send all that stuff in, you do get very little amount of money, but usually those cards are not worth money to begin with. But some commons, some uncommons, and some rares and hollows, obviously, can hold a value. And today, I'm gonna run down from number 10 to one, which cards I think, personally, personal opinion, and by TCG player, which tells you the market price, about which cards I would not send in for bulk. And I will go into how much you will get usually at an average price per bulk of that card. Let's get it, guys. Let's get to number 10. Cards on this list, guys, are definitely more expensive because they're not chase cards necessarily. They're more of play cards, like meta, they call it. Number 10. Number 10, guys, Professor's Research. Professor's Research is a holographic card that is in the Sword and Shield era. And I'm not talking Champion's Path, guys. That card's like 20 cents. I'm talking about the Sword and Shield base card. So Sword and Shield base, if you open a pack and you get a Hollow and you get Professor's Research, do not bulk this card because this card costs almost 10 times as much as the price of the bulk you're gonna get for it. And then some people will only give you 10 cents for it, so it's exactly 10 times more. So uh, I know places who give you six cents for Hollows. So Hollows between six cents and 12 cents, what I've seen, is not worth sending a dollar card in where you send multiple of them in. It's just gonna add up. You gotta send a hundred of those in. That's a hundred bucks. So keep that in mind. I mean, who has a hundred professors of research laying around? I could, but no, I'm just joking. All right, so that's number 10. So professors of research is a card I would not recommend sending it as bulk. We have Evolution Incense. And yes, this is a trainer card. This is an uncommon slash common card. This card is literally just a trainer card. Now there is a reverse variant of it that is way more expensive, but reverse hollows are hard to tell with price because of how many people sell on those cards. So we're going with the basic trainer card, and this card is almost a dollar. This card is literally just ahead of the professor's research because it is a trainer card. It is not even a hollow, it's not even a rare. This card, I'm sure people have bulked this card. Myself have definitely bulked this card. That's why I've learned from a mistake to make this list for you guys. Do not bulk that card it is nearly a dollar and the card you will only get two to three cents for you're talking almost 50 times as much as the price number eight guys we have a rangaroo hollow now this is another hollow this is a dollar oh six so it's a little over the two we just named and it's crazy because a rangaroo hollow i didn't pull that one that much but if you guys have pulled that you're gonna find out to know that you get about 12 cents in bulk for that at the highest point i've seen and but you a dollar or six is way more than that so you definitely don't want to bulk that card that's all i can say about our holographic orangaroo because there's some big headers on this list that you'd be surprised about so orangaroo hollow is number eight coming up number seven is a rare card it's a cinderace rare not the hollow the hollow is not worth much at all you might as well just bulk that card if you have a lot of those but the rare the rare cinderace card is the big one in this set it is a dollar 27 and it is a card i have gotten rid of so many times without even thinking and guys keep in mind i have gotten so much better with perspective over sending these cards in as bulk but i want to sh make sure you guys don't make the same mistake i'm doing now some of you probably know about this stuff but it is very tricky with some of these cards and you'll see some more on this list but let's continue so cinderace is extremely um odd to be a dollar 27 for someone who doesn't know about the playing game a uh, dollar 27 for the rare but 40 cents to 30 cents for the hollow it must have to do with the playing of the meta game so 
Yes, $1.27 is a card you do not want to send in bulk as around six to nine cents. I do not recommend that. You are going to lose so much on that card just bulking it. And yeah, so that's number seven. <laughs> Coming on number six is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time is Gengar, and Gengar's Hollow is one of the coolest cards. Gengar's cards always make great cards, and I would never send Gengar as bulk, even in general, just because I love Gengar so much, and I know it's a sought-after Pokemon, and I collect Gengar, but... How many times said Gengar one sentence? But, ser but seriously, guys, it is $1.30, and it's a holographic, so if you guys have sent Gengar hollows in since you have so many of them for $1.30. I don't recommend it. For one, it's a 12 cent uh, card you're gonna get as bulk, but also people will buy your Gengar cards. I know a lot of people who collect Gengars and um, Gengar hollows will go up. Trust me when I tell you this, I know this for a fact because Gengar is one of the most sought after Pokemon and the most popular Pokemon. So $1.30 for that is not worth it. That's it. 12 cents is not worth a Gengar bulk of a hollow if you can get a dollar thirty for it. Just right now. So that's number six. Coming up number five, we have the good old popular Marnie card. Marnie is a dollar ninety-four, and that is a pretty big jump from the other ones we just named on this list. So nearly around two dollars, clocking around two dollars. The holographic portion of Marnie is two dollars nearly, and it is a card a lot of people have bulked, and I had to I haven't bulked the hollows yet. I'm going through the bulk right now, the hollows right now. So that's probably why I'm glad I'm telling you guys now before I make that same mistake I did with the other ones on this list. So Marnie Hollow for $1.94, do not bulk that card. That is literally almost $2 you're gonna get 12 cents for. It. <laughs> guys, coming to number four, we have Inteleon Hollow. And that is another card that I'm gonna say right now is always gonna be up in price because of meta, always in the sets Inteleons go up. It clocks in around $2.16. And that's pretty good considering 12 cents for a card like that. I'd rather keep that card or sell it for $2.16 versus selling that, sending it in for 12 cents. Just think about that, guys. That is a huge difference. That is number four. We're at the top three, and this one is going to surprise many. Guys, coming number three, we have a very surprising entry on this list. We have Drizzle. Yes, Drizzle, the uncommon card from Sword and Shield, is more money than everything on this list so far. This card is at $2.72. I've seen this card go up to $4 on this site before. $4, but $2.72 is the market price for this card, and it sells. I see it sell all the time, and this card is very playable. That's why, as all the cards on this list, because they're not chase cards. So $2.72, $2.72 for a Drizzle card. That is crazy because I have sent so many of those in. I do not want you guys making the same mistake because when I came to commons and uncommons, I did not think before unless it was hidden phase or evolutions. So I definitely recommend keeping all your drizzles to your side. Quote of the day, keep your drizzles to your side. All right, with that said. Number two, Cincino Rare, Cappuccino Rare, whatever his name is, Cincino Rare. We have $3.20. Yes, this card is $3.20, and you will get maybe six cents for the card. This card and Drizzle outweigh some of the V cards that are $3, $2. That's what I'm saying. You guys sell those. Definitely do not sell your Chinchino Rares. It is definitely not worth sending in its bulk when it is $3.20. Guys, let, before we get to number one, there are some honorable mentions. We have the Air Balloon, which is around uh, 50 cents, but it's still a trainer card. It's around three cents. And then for 50 cents also, the Minchino, just the common for 50 cents. So definitely keep those in mind as well. But also before we get into number one, guys, if you enjoy these lists, definitely hit the like button. Hulk smash the like button, actually. Comment down below and subscribe to the channel. And guys, if you enjoy these lists, Stay tuned for more of these lists because they're coming at you guys and I'm and I'm gonna be doing these lists weekly. So guys, number one. Is it number one? We have just a little more than the Chinchino Rare, which is pretty surprising, and not much more than the Drizzle is a holographic Toxy Croak, and everybody loves Toxy Croak. And uh yes, he is three dollars and twenty-eight cents. And that is definitely not worth sending his bulk when you only get twelve cents max for that. 
So yes, that is pretty much the list of 10 cards I would not send as bulk from Sword and Shield Base. That is it for today's top 10 video. If you enjoyed this video, guys, definitely let me know in the comment section below what you think the most bulk card you've sent in from this list is. Let me know if you guys already know not to send these cards in or if you just don't do bulk in general, this list will not apply to you. But if you are trying to get some Evolving Skies, some Chilling Rain, or even some Battle Styles, definitely... Did I just say battle styles? Well, it's cheap, but <laughs> but yes, if you're trying to get those three sets right now, or if you're trying to get some extra money, definitely do not send these 10 cards in as bulk I send this list because you could definitely get some more actual money from these cards instead of sending them as bulk. But like I said, it's up to you guys. It's just a personal preference. I just want to help you guys out and make sure you don't send the bulk in that I personally think you can actually sell to other people or trade. So that is it, guys. Stay awesome, stay positive, and stay safe, guys. And we will see you on Friday's video because Friday, we got a big chilling rain opening with an awesome pool. Stay tuned, guys. And tomorrow, the poll will be up until tomorrow about which video game you want me to stream. See you guys next time. Peace out, guys.